Hello, my beautiful Husters. How y'all doing today? Thank y'all so much for supporting me. Thank you for looking, uh, looking at my videos yesterday. Thank you uh, for supporting me. Let's say prayers and I'll tell y'all we were going to be eating tonight. Thank you, Father God, for this beautiful, blessing and awesome day. Thank you for your sovereignty, your mercy, and your grace. Let this food be nourishment uh, to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Okay, y'all, I have been sweating in that kitchen. Y'all see my hair? I'm tired of my natural hair. Mm. All right, y'all, we have water tonight. We're going to flush all that good old cocktail stuff from the weekend out to get ready for the next weekend. <laughs> so... I'm toasting to the uh, YouTube community. Uh, I don't see all the drama that was going on, so I know the prayers of a righteous man avails as much. Let us all just love each other and support everybody's channel. So, yeah, salute, salute. Let's sip, sip, sip the good stuff. So refreshing. Y'all, you know, already, I love my noodles. My hot and spicy noodles at that. And then we have some crawfish, y'all. Yeah, so I'm ready. Let's dig in. We're going to just uh, eat and chat. I think I want my crawfish on that side. And my noodles on this side. How about that? How they look? Yeah. Okay. Give me. Can y'all come? Uh, I can't even talk tonight. Can y'all comment uh, down below in the description that what I can do to my uh, my natural hair? I don't do braids because uh, braids do because it's so uh, fragile and thin. Braids do uh, take my hair out, but crochet braids I can I can wear. Oh, this is hot, y'all. Oh, y'all, this is really hot. Oh, how are y'all doing tonight? What's good on the TV that y'all watch on, you know, at nighttime? You have cable, uh, Netflix. I, I'm a Netflixer. I got, I got a. Uh, Roku, Netflix, uh, um, another thing I have that I pay for, and I can't even think about it, y'all. But I don't have cable. I don't mind this. Mmm. Ooh, that's... Mmm. <clears throat> that was spicy on my lips, y'all. Ooh! Who, who, whoever created noodles, they did a good thing. Me and my son was talking about air fryers last night. Whoever created an air fryer, you did a wonderful thing. It's brilliant, actually. Mm, 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 mm. I'm not <laughs> That's good. Y'all. That's spicy. Crawfish season. Oh, look at them big old. You know, I, I do eat my claws, y'all. 
Fall fish season is in full and effect, honey. I want to suck the heads tonight. You know, isn't it sad that people who are allergic to seafood, that they missing a lot of goodness? I need some more of that uh, sauce, butter, garlic sauce or something. I sure do wish that we had uh, here in Texas uh, the snow crabs and the Dungeness crabs here in our waters, but we don't. I'll tell you, my freezer will always be full all the time. Can y'all hear me? I think I'm talking a little low tonight, huh? All we have is blue crabs, shrimp, and so many different uh, types of fish here. So many different fish. For me, I like that meaty, thick fish because I like to smother it in, you know, red sauces. Bake them in the uh, foil paper with a lot of veggies and stuff that they can hold up. Like drum, red fish. Uh, gar, garfish as well, sheephead fish too. But you know what? There's so many different types of fish. I wouldn't have a clue how to cook all those different types of fish, like so many other countries know how to do. That's delicious. I eat the onions that I bought them in. They good. Oh, this is so good. You know, some people that eat crawfish, a lot of people, not some, they don't pull that a back skin off. You know, sometimes uh, if they cook really good, when you pull it, that, that line of boo-boo come out. But I always pull this part off. Because see that? All that stuff come out. Ooh. Some people eat it. Boy, look at them legs. Some people also, uh, some big old legs, ain't it? Some people also eat uh, the blue crab stuff because they cook them whole. I don't. I clean mine. Remember I showed y'all? I'll be eating them pretty soon, too. I know everything has a season. I wonder, do blue crabs, when, when is the season up for blue crabs? I don't think there's ever in season for a uh, shrimp. Do y'all, oh, I spit. Did y'all see that? <laughs> I don't know if that's the in season for shrimp because everywhere you go, it's shrimp. Shrimp, shrimp, and shrimp. I, tr I bought some of those uh, when I first saw the red fish uh, on YouTube. I went I went to the Fresh Market and and I bought some because they said that they had a texture of uh, lobsters. I wasn't very fond of them, so I didn't I haven't bought them again. 
Now, what I would love to get my hands on is some of them gigantic prawns that I see everybody with. I never had that either, but I know I, I probably have to order them from one of those Alaskan companies. Mm-hmm. They are huge. I wouldn't even know how to... Well, you can find everything on YouTube and Google to learn how to, to figure out how long you cook them without overcooking because they're so thick. But so many people have them. Me eats them. I love all y'all. You know, I told y'all I already got my favorite YouTubers. I do. And I watch them every single day. And there's so much seafood. Seafood is everywhere. There's a few people that I watch uh, ASMR. Look at all that meat that was inside of that, y'all. All that meat. Y'all, don't throw, don't, don't throw the claws away on your claw bed. It's a lot of meat in there. I'm going to sleep on it. And if you pull them out, some of them cooperate. You pull them out and, uh, all that meat just come out right there like a lollipop. Mm-hmm. See that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is. Mm. Mm. My God, that's good. That is. Somebody else eat, was eating some uh, crawfish tonight. Two people, a uh, Kuzo and um, Tosh Pro. They were uh, Tosh Pro Point. They were eating crawfish tonight. Y'all, for real, I'm going to try ASMR. See if I can. Eat without talking. <laughs> I don't think I can. <laughs> I really don't. Y'all, I want something different. I want something different to eat. I, I tell y'all, I think I found my camera. You know what? You know who I'm falling in love with? Somebody else. I watch them almost all day today. Uh, Easy and Natalie. <laughs> I like they Easy, Easy and Nat. Uh, Natalie. Uh, they crazy, but the best friends. And um, Steph and Tasha, I know it's tax season. I'm wishing y'all the best. I do my own taxes. They already been filed. Mm hmm. These are so good. You know what? Uh, the first time I had the black bean noodle, I, I did, I ordered it off of uh, 
I can't even roll these tonight. I ordered them off of uh, Amazon. I have to give me some more, y'all. They were so good. I seen I seen uh, somebody on AS, ASMR. They were doing spicy black bean. I didn't have a spicy. I'm definitely going to have to get them now. Women. This is a question for, for women tonight. Single women. I know uh, we all know that the dating scene has changed. Do you still believe that men ought to chase you? Do you still want to be chased by a man? I do. Because I feel that when they chasing you, they really are into you. Remember I said, oh, about 15 days or more ago, we was talking about be being an option because dating has changed. Nobody takes it so serious anymore. Almost anything goes to a certain degree. I think when a man, I think when a man is actually really interested, your phone rings. And you get texts just for nothing sometimes. So they let you know that they really are into you. Yeah. That don't happen as much anymore. You know, I, I, I know things are changing. And I know that I'm going to have to tweak some of my stuff. But I ain't tweaking all of it. I still believe that men are to chase their woman. I believe that. I don't want to chase a man. Mm -mm. I want him to have that desire to want to hear my voice and then that desire to want to you know, come lay on my lap and let me rub down his face, all that nice hair on his face and rub him down his chest and just, you know, romance each other with our clothes on, you know? That's what I want. I want the romance because... I think once you have romance, everything else just falls into play because with romance, that lets you know that you're feeling each other. You know, you have a, a, a physical and a, a hopefully a spiritual connection. You know what I mean? I don't know about that tail. If it was out, I wouldn't eat it, but it's kind of got a curl. I, I don't trust that one. <laughs> Cause a long time ago they say if you if you uh if you had a crawfish and the tail was straight out don't eat it because it was dead before it was caught. <laughs> I don't know, but I've always stuck with that. Oh, look, see, see how they come out of there. If my mama saw that, she was like, I ain't eating that nasty stuff. I ain't eating them crawfish. But my mama do eat crawfish though. She used to cook them hot and spicy. It was so spicy you couldn't eat. You couldn't eat them. I ain't eat them. You know, another thing I I don't say I necessarily struggle with it because you know I told y'all that I like my I like my black man, I like my dark man. 
I've dated. I have dated outside my race. I told y'all. There's an artist named Millie Jackson. Uh, I know y'all have heard of Millie Jackson. On one of her live and uncensored CDs, she said, sometime, she said, sometime it's better to have a piece of man than no man at all. And she was going to take what she got and work with it. Do y'all believe that today? It's better to have a piece of man than no man at all. Would y'all settle today? If if you met a man, and let's just say he had a passion for reading like you are, you know, a passion for some of the TV shows that you like, and y'all pretty much had a pretty decent conversation, but he, uh, he smoked, if you didn't smoke, or he smoked marijuana and you don't smoke it, or he had a ton of children and you were done raising your children, would you settle? Would you settle because y'all did have the most intimate conversations, you know, you know, intellectual conversations, and y'all knew how to encourage one another, and it was just something about passion that y'all had, and it was all those other things that you didn't like or you didn't want anymore. Would, would you settle? Would you, you know, like she said, it's better to have a piece of man than no man at all. So sometimes you got to just take what you got and work with it. I agree with that if you're already married. If you're already married, I'm sure you done been through some whole bunch of stuff. He ain't the same no more. She not the same no more. But y'all continue to want to stick it out and Stick with it and stay with it. Mm -hmm. I think that plays a part there. Because I tell my, I tell a family member all the time, because they've been married for a long time. Yeah, your spouse, man or woman, going to mess up sometimes. But don't, you know, if it ain't, if it ain't that serious, don't, if you're divorced today, honey, You'll be in there for a rude awakening if you think something's better out here. It ain't. It ain't. So I agree with that, with that analogy. If you're single and you're happy, you know, you'll be all right. Sometimes, I, I, I'm just going to say this, y'all. Everybody not into it, but whoever's not, oh well, you know, suit yourself. You got toy stores around. Cindy's is my favorite. Sometimes you got to have that temporary satisfaction. It beats slipping. It beats sleeping around with a bunch of men. So sometimes you got the pleasure yourself with a toy or two. <laughs> And if it, if it makes you feel better, you can name it. <laughs> Shit. Things have changed. Trust that. Why well, I'm trying to keep the, the crawfish legs? Y'all, I put them. Ooh, I put them. 
I put a good dent in this, then I must have, I must have, I was hungry, huh? Mm-mm. I love crawfish and noodles. I don't know if I like one more than the other. Come on for that. You know, where I live, since the crawfish season, I know, uh, they give us uh, a crawfish bar, a big one, from one of the famous uh, seafood places here. I'm waiting on that email. <laughs> I'm waiting on that flyer. Uh, I'm going to be there 20 minutes early. So that, they have some good Good, good crawfish, man. Look, okay, I'm making a mess now. There ain't nothing else in that boat. <laughs> they have some really good crawfish. They don't sell. The, I mean, they don't sell. They don't bring the sausage. They just bring corn and potatoes. But I don't. I don't eat the corn or the potatoes. Uh, I stick solely to the crawfish because they are so, so, so. All right, y'all. I have finished this meal. Not often do I get to finish my whole meal. But I did. Thank you, my beautiful hostess, for coming back and supporting me and looking at my videos. Before you leave, my new hostess, don't forget to give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, that, notifica that notification bell right on the side, ding dong, ding dong. Don't forget to comment, share, and like. I'll be happy for you. Thank you. So, with that said, have a wonderful, blessed night, and I'll see y'all on tomorrow. Holla, holla, holla. Mm -hmm.